Smartphone Smartphones are a class of mobile phones and of multi-purpose mobile computing devices. They are distinguished from feature phones by their stronger hardware capabilities and extensive mobile operating system, which facilitate wider software, internet, and multimedia functionality (INCL). Using music, video, cameras, and gaming, alongside core phone functions such as voice calls and text messaging. Smartphones typically include various sensors that can be leveraged by their software, such as a magnetometer, proximity sensors, barometer, gyroscope and accelerometer. Support wireless. S communications protocols such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and satellite navigation. Early smartphones were marketed primarily towards the enterprise market, attempting to bridge the functionality of standalone personal digital assistant PDA devices with support for cellular telephony, but were limited. by their bulky form, short battery life, and the immaturity of wireless data services, these issues were eventually resolved with advances in MOSFET, MOS transistor, lithium-ion battery and mobile network technologies. In the 2000s, NTT Docomo's iMode platform, BlackBerry, Nokia's Symbian platform, and Windows Mobile began to gain market traction, with models often featuring QWERTY keyboards or resistive touchscreen input. And emphasizing access to push email and wireless internet. Since the unveiling of the iPhone in 2007, the majority of smartphones have featured thin, slate-like form factors, with large, capacitive screens with support for multi-touch gestures rather than physical keyboard. Offer the ability for users to download or purchase additional applications fro. MA centralized store, and use cloud storage and synchronization, virtual assistance, as well as mobile payment services. Improved hardware and faster wireless communication have bolstered the growth of the smartphone industry. In the third quarter of 2012, 1 billion smartphones were in use worldwide. Global smartphone sales surpassed the sales figures for feature phones in early 2013. The development of the smartphone was enabled by advances in MOSFET metal oxide silicon field effect transistor semiconductor device fab. Rication. The MOSFET MOS transistor, invented by Muhammad Atala and Dawan Kong at Bell Labs in 1959, is the basic building block of computing devices such as smartphones. MOSFET scaling, where MOS transistors get smaller with decreasing power consumption, enabled very large scale integration (VLS) technology, with MOS transistor counts and integrated circuit chips increasing at an exponential pace, as predicted by Moore's law.
Continuous MOSFET scaling eventually made it possible to build portable smart devices such as smartphones during the 1990s 2000s. A typical smartphone is built from billions of tiny MOSFETs as of 2019, used in integrated circuits such as microprocessors and memory chips, as power devices, and as thin film transistors TFTs, in mobile displays. Another important enabling factor was the lithium-ion battery, which became indispensable as an energy source for smartphones. The lithium-ion battery was invented by John Goodenough, Racket Yasumi and Akira Yoshino in the 1980s, and commercialized by Sony and Asahi Kasi in 1991. With advances in MOSFET technology enabling smaller integrated circuit chips and improving wireless mobile networks, IBM engineer Frank Canova realized that chip and wireless technology was becoming small enough to use in handheld devices. The first commercially available device that could be properly referred to as a smartphone began as a prototype called Angler, developed by Canova in 1992 while at IBM and demonstrated in November of that year at the Comdex Computer Industry Trade Show. A refined version was marketed to consumers in 1994 by BellSouth under the name Simon Personal Communicator. In addition to placing and receiving cellular calls, the touchscreen equipped Simon could send and receive faxes and emails. It included an address book, calendar, appointment scheduler, calculator, world time clock, and notepad, as well as other visionary mobile applications such as maps, stock reports and news. The term, smartphone, or, smartphone, was not coined until a year after the introduction of the Simon, appear. Ding in print as early as 1995 describing AT&T's phone writer communicator. Beginning in the mid-late 1990s, many people who had mobile phones carried a separate dedicated PDA device, running early versions of operating systems such as Palm OS, Newton OS, Symbian or Windows CE, Pocket PC. These operating systems would later evolve into early mobile operating systems. Most of the smartphones in this era were hybrid devices that combined these existing familiar PDA OSes with basic phone hardware. The results were devices that were bulkier than either dedicated mobile phones or PDAs, but allowed a limited amount of cellular internet access. PDA and mobile phone manufacturers competed in reducing the size of devices. The bulk of these smartphones combined with their high cost and expensive data plans, plus other drawbacks such as expansion limitations and decreased battery life compared to separate standalone devices, generally limited their popularity to early adopters and business users who needed portable C connectivity. In 1999, Japanese wireless provider NTT Docomo launched iMode, a new mobile internet platform which provided data transmission speeds up to 9.6 kilobits per second, and access web services available through the platform such as online shopping.
NTT Docomo's iMode used CHTML, a language which restricted some aspects of traditional HTML in favor of increasing data speed for the devices. Limited functionality, small screens and limited bandwidth allowed for phones to use the slower data speeds available. The rise of iMode helped NTT Docomo accumulate an estimated 40 million subscribers by the end of 2001, and rank first in market capitalization in Japan and second globally. The rise of 3G technology in other markets and non-Japanese phones with powerful standardized smartphone operating systems. App stores, and advanced wireless network capabilities allowed non-Japanese phone manufacturers to finally break into the Japanese market. Gradually adopting Japanese phone features like emojis, mobile payments, NFC, etc. And spreading them to the rest of the world. Outside the US and Japan, Nokia was seeing success with its smartphones based on Symbian, originally developed by Scion for their personal organizers, and it was the most popular smartphone OS in Europe during the middle to late 2000s. Initially, Nokia's Symbian smartphones were focused on business with the E-Series, similar to Windows Mobile and BlackBerry devices at the time. From 2006 onwards, Nokia started producing consumer-focused smartphones, popularized by the entertainment-focused N-Series. Until 2010, Symbian was the world's most widely used smartphone operating system. Before the late 2000s, it was common for smartphones to have a physical keyboard in either a candy bar or sliding form factor, or even only a numeric keypad using T9 text input. Less commonly smartphones could have resistive touch screens, which allowed for virtual keyboards and handwriting input with a finger or a stylus, thus also allowing easy entry of Asian characters. In December 2006 LG announced the LG Prada, a fashionable feature phone created in collaboration with i. Italian luxury designer Prada with a 3 inches 240x 400 pixel capacitive touchscreen. This was the first large capacitive touchscreen on a phone. In January 2007 Apple Computer introduced the iPhone. It had a 3.5 capacitive touchscreen with twice the common resolution of most smartphone screens at the time and introduced multi-touch to phones, which allowed gestures such as pinchy thing to zoom in or out on photos, maps, and web pages. The iPhone was notable as being the first device of its kind targeted at the mass market to abandon the use of a stylus, keyboard, or keypad typical of contemporary smartphones. instead using a large touchscreen for direct finger input as its my then means of interaction. Later Apple shipped a software update that gave the iPhone a built-in on-device app store allowing direct wireless downloads of third-party software. This kind of centralized app store and free developer tools quickly became the new main paradigm for all smartphone platforms. For software development, distribution and installation, 
in place of expensive developer tools that required official approval to use and a dependence on third-party sources providing applications for multiple platforms. In the early 2010s, larger smartphones with screen sizes of at least 5.5 inches diagonal, dubbed phablets, began to achieve popularity, with the Samsung Galaxy Note series gaining notably wide adoption. In 2013, Huawei launched the Huawei Mate series and it sports a 6.1-inch HD 1280x720 IPS Plus LCD display, which was considered to be quite large back in the day. The first smartphone with a fingerprint reader was the Motorola Atrix 4G in 2011. In September 2013, the iPhone 5S was unveiled as the first smartphone on a major U.S. carrier since the Atrix to feature this technology. By 2014, 1440p displays began to appear on high-end smartphones. In 2015, Sony released the Xperia Z5 Premium, featuring a 4K resolution display, although only images and videos could actually be rendered at that resolution. Other major technologies began to trend in 2016, including a focus on virtual reality and augmented reality experiences catered towards SMAR. T-phones, the newly introduced USB-C connector, and improving LTE technologies. As of 2015, the global median for smartphone ownership was 43%. Statista forecast that 2.87 billion people would own smartphones in 2020. In 2018, the first smartphones featuring fingerprint readers embedded within OLED displays were announced, followed in 2019 by an implementation using an ultrasonic sensor on the Samsung Galaxy S10. In 2019, 4.7 inches to 5.5 inches have become the industry standard size, with most companies abandoning smaller, under 4.7 inch displays. Smartphones with foldable displays were theorized as possible once manufacturing costs and production processes were feasible. In November 2018, the startup company Royal unveiled the first commercially available foldable smartphone, the Royal FlexBuy. Also that month, Samsung presented a prototype phone featuring an Infinity Flex display, at its developers conference, with a smaller, outer display on its cover, and a larger, tablet-sized display when opened. Samsung stated that it also had to develop a new polymer material to coat the display as opposed to glass. Advances in digital camera sensors and on-device image processing software more gradually led to smartphones replacing simpler cameras for photographs and video recording. The built-in GPS capabilities and mapping apps on smartphones largely replaced standalone satellite navigation devices and paper maps became less common. Mobile gaming on smartphones greatly grew in popularity, allowing many people to use them in place of handheld game console and some companies t. Read creating game console, phone hybrids based on phone hardware and software. People frequently have chosen not to get fixed-line telephone service in favor of smartphones. 
Music streaming apps and services have grown rapidly in popularity, serving the same use as listening to music stations on AT. Terrestrial or satellite radio. Streaming video services are easily accessed via smartphone apps and can be used in place of watching television. People have often stopped wearing wristwatches in favor of checking the time on their smartphones, and many use the clock features on their phones in place of alarm clocks. Smartphones have central processing units CPUs, similar to those in computers, but optimized to operate in low-power environments. The performance of mobile CPU depends not only on the clock rate generally given in multiples of Hertz but also on the memory hierarchy. Because of these challenges, the performance of mobile phone CPUs is often more appropriately given by scores derived from various standardized tests to measure the real effective performance in commonly used applications. Screen sizes are measured in diagonal inches. Phones with screens larger than 5.2 inches are often called phablets. Liquid crystal displays are the most common, others are IPS, LED, OLED, and AMOLED displays. Some displays are integrated with pressure-sensitive digitizers, such as those developed by Wacom and Samsung, and Apple's Force Touch system. A 2012 University of Southern California study found that unprotected adolescent sexual activity was more common among owners of smartphones. A study conducted by the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute's RPI, Lighting Research Center, LRC, concluded that smartphones, or any backlit devices, can serio. USLY affect sleep cycles. Some persons might become psychologically attached to smartphones resulting in anxiety when separated from the devices. A zombie, a combination of smartphone and zombie, is a walking person using a smartphone and not paying attention as they walk possibly risking an accident in the process, an increasing social phenomenon. The issue of slow-moving smartphone users led to the temporary creation of a mobile lane for walking in Chongqing, China. The issue of distracted smartphone users led the city of Augsburg, Germany to embed pedestrian traffic lights in the P. pavement. Mobile phone use while driving including calling, text messaging, playing media, web browsing, gaming, using mapping apps or operating other phone features is common but controversial. Since it is widely considered dangerous due to what is known as distracted driving. Being distracted while operating a motor vehicle has been shown to increase the risk of accidents. In September 2010, the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, reported that 995 people were killed by drivers distracted by phones. In March 2011 a U.S. insurance company, State Farm Insurance, announced the results of a study which showed 19% of drivers surveyed accessed the internet on a smartphone while driving. Many jurisdictions prohibit the use of mobile phones while driving. 
In Egypt, Israel, Japan, Portugal and Singapore, both handheld and hands-free calling on a mobile phone, which uses a speakerphone, is banned. In other countries including the UK and France and in many US states, only the use of calling on handheld phones is banned, while hands-free use is permitted. Smartphone malware is easily distributed through an insecure app store. Often, malware is hidden in pirated versions of legitimate apps, which are then distributed through third-party app stores. Malware risk also comes from what is known as an update attack, where a legitimate application is lat or changed to include a malware component which users then install when they are notified that the app has been updated. As well, one out of three robberies in 2012 in the United States involved the theft of a mobile phone. An online petition has urged smartphone makers to install kill switches in their devices. In 2014, Apple's Find My iPhone and Google's Android Device Manager can locate, disable, and wipe the data from phones that have been lost or stolen. With BlackBerry Protect and OS version 10.3.2, devices can be rendered unrecoverable to even BlackBerry's own operating system recovery tools if incorrectly authenticated or dissociated from their account. Leaked documents published by WikiLeaks, codenamed Vault 7 and dated from 2013-2016, detail the capabilities of the United States Central Intelligence Agency CIA, to perform electronic surveillance and cyber warfare, including the ability to compromise the operating systems of most smartphones, in, including iOS and Android. Using smartphones late at night can disturb sleep, due to the blue light and brightly lit screen, which affects melatonin levels and sleep cycles. In an effort to alleviate these issues, several apps that change the color temperature of a screen to a warmer hue based on the time of day to reduce the amount of blue light generated been developed for Android, while iOS 9.3 integrated similar, system-level functionality known as, Night Shift. Amazon released a feature known as, Blue Shade, in their Fire OS Bellini 5.0 and later. It has also been theorized that for some users, addicted use of their phones, especially before they go to bed, can result in ego depletion. Many people also use their phones as alarm clocks, which can also lead to loss of sleep. Pocket cameras have difficulty producing bokeh in images, but nowadays, some smartphones have dual-lens cameras that produce the bokeh effect easily, and can even rearrange the level of bokeh after shooting. The iPhone 7 Plus debuted with a dual-lens camera in the back of the smartphone. More advanced smartphones may come with quad cameras, or two dual-lens cameras. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.